Hey guys, okay, um, this is, I'm almost done, I just have this little tin left to, cute little tin, and this is more of a paper box, more so than a hard um, tin, and it's got fruits and vegetables on it, this is tea, I love this little um, gingham um, pattern here in the back, there's a little teapot and some lemons and strawberry shortcake cake. Uh, I don't know what that is right there. Um, there's a teacup inside, and so it's really darling. Uh, I'll give you the measurements on the top, on the lid. <clears throat> and again, thank you to the ladies who came through and bought those um, first tins that I showed. This is going to be number four, uh, box number four. Uh, let's see. This measures roughly six and an eighth by four and three fours okay six and an eighth by four and three four and um sorry i'll measure the length of it here in, in a moment okay let me just get right to it i don't need to talk a lot because you know by now you get the gist of 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 how these are they come together but these are smaller and they're so cute and there's no way I'll be able to shove all that in there and close the lid so <laughs> some things may arrive on the outside okay let's see let's start with this polka dot fabric here and this one I kind of did so, sort of um, sort of farm housey if you will hopefully you can see that the Sun if I open my window hello <laughs> sunrise <laughs> Um, okay, and let's see, I'm not going to be distracted by the computer making noises. Um, here is a darling, let's put this down first, a darling, um, piece of fabric, and it's got sunflowers, my baby's favorite, chickens up here, some pigs, some pumpkins, some, I guess that's Elote. And then here is a barn over here. The pink and red and some cows and I just love this piece. Some apples and the trees. And then it goes on down a little bit further. And you've got another different barn. More sunflowers, daisies, chickens. I, I think it's just so cute. I love the cows. Of course there's you know the, the male dude there too. So that's really pretty the fabric for that one and here are some cards I put in a hee hee ha card and again hosiery in case you want to you know just for stitching inspiration this cute little card I think I got this out of Jessica wrap stuff I'm sure I did I kind of remember this um, I might have kept one there might have been two in there and I kept one for myself but I just love that <laughs> it's so cute and then there's another one of the those cards where I can't read and see, but they're mostly Ireland. And then here's a little farmhouse. They're working on the farm in the yard. And beautiful sunflowers. I kept plenty of these for myself to put throughout my journal because, you know, that was my daughter's favorite flower. And she liked sunflower seeds. Pretty blues. And I got this from... Oh gosh, from um, what's her name? Oh my God, how can I forget her name? She does a lot of live sales, I think. I don't watch her channel anymore. I don't have time, guys. I have a few people I watch and stick to, and that's it. Um, even in the summer when I wasn't teaching, it's um, I'll think of it in a minute. But I bought these from her a long time ago. Um. Ah, forgot. Anyway, there's that. And that. And this one. I've had these in my collection for a long time. So those are really fun cards. And then here is another one of those cherry pieces. And this is a longer piece. This is where a seamstress was making some curtains, I think. Um, and she didn't finish them. But she was sort of hand stitching and gathering. Um, gathering them together. Let's double check to see. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's hand stitched. And let's see here. This is a really tiny one, guys. It's small. <laughs> but it's packed. Okay, let me see if I can grab out of here. And don't be surprised if there are some little extras as I'm packing things up. Um, there, there usually always is that I will put in here in these. Um, this came from an estate sale. And I may have shown this to you guys before. I'm not sure. But it says Home Sweet Home. And it's got these machine stitched flowers yeah those are machine stitched flowers sorry the sun is saying hey girlfriend why are you blocking me out today huh what's wrong with you <laughs> um home sweet home and then this pretty little pink flower and this is a tea towel so that's really nice i like that and this may be um store bought it's a possibility but it's really pretty and there's a lot of real estate that you can cut apart and add uh, in your journal, uses pages in your journal. <clears throat> Here is some plaid, a little remnant of plaid. Here is a um, hand stitched piece here, hand done because, you know, the knots, telltale. And then there's the front of it there, so that's really pretty. And then there are remnants of this here. You saw that in the other the other um, flow tins, a remnant of pretty lace. Snippet. There's some of that pretty rickrack that's hand stitched. I can't believe that. I'll never be able to get over this. And it's got pretty little flowers on it. And there is a butterfly. And you saw me pull that out, and I pulled it out for this particular. There's a purple. I might have meant to put this in a purple, light purple. I have some other kits coming up that are small as well. But um, I've got plenty of those. Obviously, you guys saw. There is some lace. Here are some of those farm buttons. And these are in the style of scarecrow and um, sort of fall themed. Here's some blue seam binding. It's unopened. Here is a, another hand stitched piece. Some of these, I bought some a lot of these from Elaine and then some of them she gifted to me. There's a couple she used some, um, if you guys are familiar with my Mr. McDaniel's excursion, curbside dumpster diving, like a really curbside dumpster dive. It's a video on my YouTube channel just type in curbside dumpster dive and you'll see me finding a lot of things from Mr. McDaniels his wife was a seamstress and she had a lot of these little square pieces that were stuck together with a pin which could be you know sort of um, like the origins of, or maybe part of the origins of clusters but that's a, a, a lane piece there at uh, the teachers table more buttons in there with these cute little ladies teddy bear ladies in their red white and blue little outfit so cute and here is some orange and uh, brown thread here is a paper measurement it's the whole measurement it's paper love those here are some needles to sew with and there's a lot of them in there and there's some apples I'm putting some of these buttons in my um, Disable Art Veterans uh, boxes so they can play around with that, those. And let's see, here's another remnant. Aren't you guys, I'm really tired of looking at this particular fabric, but there it is. <laughs> it's like everywhere. And then the paper doll for this one, and these are from the 40s. I think 40s, yeah, 40s, 50s. Um, this is a cute little red dress um, that I thought would be so perfect for um, this kind of, um, um, you know, collection. And here are some beads in more of the farmhousey colors. There's some yellow sequins and some reds and greens. It's kind of like the rainbow colors as opposed to specific colors. And then here's a cute little house. 
and here is some floss in yellow um, another little remnant for a tab just a little rem random piece here is a napkin with some fruit on it it's got peaches and leaves and flowers and florals and all kinds of pretty things on there plums I guess those are plums or apples I don't know farmhousey stuff and this little tiny book I put in there um, and it's an inchy um, little golden book uh, we help mommy and this is just so cute um, I know Joanna uses a, has used this book a lot so has Carla so has um, uh, Kristen a lot of ladies that do the, the kid books um, they've used the, the regular size of that the traditional size of it standard I guess all the pages are there So that's really cute. And there's the, the back of it. Little tiny little book. And then this is some ribbon that has some fruits and vegetables and foliage, leaves and plums and cherries and or cherries and blackberries on it. Pears. That's ribbon. I think I'm out of that finally. Um, here is some polka dot blue ribbon. Here is some teeny itty bitty little tiny scissors. Those come in those little sewing kits, the little tiny ones. Here are some stamps. Um, this napkin, wait, hang on, this napkin got smashed in there gingham and it's kind of a light green teal it's the same as that other napkin I showed you in the, the other um, tin and here's another plaid I love these plaid pieces believe it or not I kind of um, you know you look at this and it's like well, what is that it's just a piece of fabric but it's plaid <laughs> and the colors um, here is a postcard or black and white of some fish where someone has been fishing. I love that. Always reminds me of my great grandmother, and that's where it is. Rainbows from Bishop. And um, because my grandmother used to catch her own catfish and clean it. Um, and boy, we would just throw down at dinner time. There is some lace there. And there's the little tags. There's a good deal of those in there. And these tabs. And then here are some stamps. And there's a heart. And here's another little coffee cup piece there. And here are some, I had to cut down unfortunately, um, and I keep a lot of these because I, I'm in Texas if you don't know where I live, um, and I have a lot of journals that I buy for students, my students, graduating seniors um, upon graduation, and a lot of my students um, are cattle owners and horse riders, and so I took, Smokey Bear, guys, leave him alone, they come all. Stop, Mama. Stop. Leave him alone. Leave Grandpa alone. He's grouchy. Um, so a lot of my students do horses and cattle, horse riding and cattle raising and stuff like that. So these are postcards that I have in my possession, but I cut them down so they would fit in the tin, which is kind of I don't know unfair, but I want things to go in the tin. I want them to be in the box. But sometimes you may get something that will arrive um, that's outside of it because I couldn't fit it all in there. And here's this lovely picture. Here's a thread here. Here's this lovely picture. It almost looks like that other picture that I showed you of the, the shabby chic tin, but it's an original from 1953. Let's see what it says. I usually don't read these things because, you know, I'm not nosy like that. Um, what does that say? Fraser family? 
Vienna, Austria. Wow. I think of Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. She's the only one I know in Vienna, Austria. <laughs> she goes, Hi, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. I love her. She's so talented. Um, but that's a really cute picture of a lady and a baby. And I put this in here because I love this baby's, two babies. I love this baby's overalls. And they just look like they're going to farm something in a minute. <laughs> so I put that in there. Um, and then the last part of this is, here is a pin. I think that pin is purposefully supposed to be shaped like that. I forget what it's for. Maybe the whole knitting or something. There's a teeny tiny itty bitty little um, Elaine at the teacher's table little stitching project art piece. <laughs> it's an art inchy. Itty, itty bitty, teeny weeny. And then here's one of those tiny little jars. Those are so cute. And a thimble. An orange. Two rhinestones that you can put down on paper. They're really pretty. Um, very, very uh, rhinestone-y, like t-shirts and stuff. An applique, a pin, and a button. And that is this little tiny kit. And this one, um, these last two, um, if you are, I know somebody had mentioned um, that on one of my uh, images, no, not images, what am I trying to say? One of my videos <clears throat> somebody left a comment and said these you know something like these are really great but the price um, my prices are no different than anybody else's um, and I price things as fairly as I possibly can um, I spend my dollars like everybody else like everybody else out in, in flea markets when I'm with my mom and um, I think they're priced accordingly. I charge for the box. I charge for the contents. I charge for, I add shipping in there to try to make it easier for, for people. But, um, and then I have ladies who just shop and don't really say a word about pricing or anything. They just go in there and buy it and it's gone. Um, one thing I will tell you is I do give discounts to, um, you guys who watch my YouTube channels and if you go into my Etsy shop um, and you send me a message and mention you saw my video I'll give you a discount but it's mostly just on kits and packs and things like that this is a uh, two and a quarter tall um, so that kind of thing but I you know fees are high and I'm not trying to charge my customer for for those fees but you know I have to get something out of it guys I wish I could um, sell pedal things for extraordinarily cheap but I can't afford to do that I buy journals and it's and it's not even about my personal finances it's because I buy journals um, and journals aren't cheap and they should not be handmade journals should not be cheap um, you know artists and makers should charge right because it's handmade and they're works of art and they're one of a kind and they're heirlooms they become heirlooms they become part of you know items that people pass down to their grandkids and great grandkids and family members you know other family members and so um yeah it's kind of like you just you just see the shop or you you don't um and i'm pretty sure i speak for most of us um, I don't make journals. I only pedal supplies. That's all I've ever done. But boy, I buy a lot of journals and I intend to buy more. My little account for my students is growing and, and it's getting up to a point where, you know, um, if I see a journal that I want for my student, that's, that's what I'm going to buy. That's what I'm going to get. Um, and some of them are quite extraordinary. And like I said, works of art. Um, and you need, we need to pay for that. As far as this stuff goes, um, I charge fairly. I, you know, have been, I've done this for a long time and sort of started the whole kit, selling kits and selling packs and not necessarily packs, but selling kits like this or um, junk journaling kits and, and, and I enjoy it. I love it. I still enjoy it. I love it. Um, and I'm not going to sell my stuff for pennies um, and other people have made lots of dollars off of this idea I you know I mean that's kind of historically that's happened historically 
you know, people just kind of, and I mean, it, it just, anyway, I don't want to get into that, but that's just kind of where I am. If you see something in my shop that you cannot afford, or if you think is not reasonable to fit reasonably enough, reasonably enough to fit your budget, just email me, just send me a message. Don't be shy about it because I'm, I'm pretty generous about giving deals. Um, I, I do say no, if it's something that's, um, if it's a price that's not, I can't get a profit out of it, I will say no or I'll offer you something else and we just meet in the middle. Um, I'm a willer and dealer, I'm a hustler. I always have been and always will be. Um, I'm a professional first, but I like hustling. I love it, I enjoy it. My mom and I, we get out, roll up our sleeves and get out to the nitty gritty. So, um, and, and find a lot of really cool things. So this one is 10 number, um, four and um, again this is one of the less expensive and I don't think my stuff is expensive at all but I'm saying that word right now um, so yeah for your for your crafting you can stash bill with these you can journal make with these you can stitch and do journal of stitcheries with these glue book with these whatever it is you want whatever suits your fancy okay all right I'll say goodbye here for now and I'll be back with this tiny little oh my god look at this one I have a bread tie on top so I can put it in there. Guys, it's really crammed. I'm not even sure I should open it. I probably should not open it. It's a beat up tin. It's got stickers on it. It's crusty and got rust across here and it says eat chicken. <laughs> so I might just put that in my um, in my Etsy shop just like that. Um, let me open it here so you can kind of see the top of it it's loaded it's so loaded oh my gosh it's got all kinds of bobbins and things down in there and this is a true farm related there's some of that fabric right here that farm fabric there's some images and pictures and some cherry fabrics and things like that and a lot of goodies down there in the bottom it's just really a lot of fun and now it has a bread tie and I'm putting some of this washi in there because it's kind of farm related if you will there's chickens on it so that's that guys I'm gonna say goodbye I'm not gonna show this one on camera I decided not to and that's gonna be this one the cow one is gonna be uh, 10 box um, number five and that's gonna wrap it up <clears throat> for me I am going to edit the video where my mom and I went out to an estate sale and the lady just had oh my god so much stuff related to hand stitching hand crafting hand sewing hand crochet tatting um, um, hand stitching machine stitching all of the stuff it was like all of you guys wrapped in one <laughs> can you imagine that oh my god that's that was her um, embroidery she had all sorts of things so anyway I'll say goodbye and uh, these will be by the time this video comes up this is uh, about four and an eighth um, by the time the video goes up, these will be in my shop three and a half. So it's it's a baby tan. But I love that the cow is on there and it says eat chicken. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, I'll be back with that video and the footage. Oh, and I'm working on this one. I can show you this one. There's two other ones over there, but I probably won't finish those. Um, not before school starts because I have so much to do in less than a week. Um, but this is a rusty tan. And you guys were with me when I went to an estate sale and found a bunch of these. Look. And then I'm putting all old stuff in there. So there's some tatting and one of those old school bobbins that might be made in Japan. And look at these old buttons here. Look at those. Oh, they're heavy. They're pearl. They came tied up like that. They're um, patinaed. Um, just gorgeous. And then this little piece here. This is one of those things. I think you guys mark the fabric up with this. Is that what that's for? And then look at this little needle case here. It's so cool. Look at this. Isn't that cute? And it's got a thimble that come pops out. And then it had buttons here. Whoops. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to. There we go. And then it had buttons here. And then there's some needles and pins, a button, and there's your thread. I'm not sure what went under here if anything at all maybe more thread but isn't it cute 
That would be a cute little junk journaling idea to make. So yeah, and there's a picture in there too of a lady um, who is sewing. I don't know. I think I scanned her. I did. She scanned, but she's sewing. And that's a original black and white picture. But I did scan her. She's in my sewing digitals. Okay, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, thanks for tuning in my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all my friends who are still my friends and still here with me. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I could not keep going on without you. For those of you who have left and gone on, God bless you. And uh, maybe you'll come back and find something interesting and show up. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you guys later. Um, and again, thanks to the ladies who uh, did um, exercise the power of flowers um, and bought those two tins. I really do appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.